sa pinagpalang araw po, this is our first discussion about police photography. Simulan po natin sa history of photography. So yung photography class is sinahati sa dalawang salita. Galing sa Greek, Greek word na una, pos, means light. So lahat ng bagay na kikita mo it because of light. Then, meron tayong grapus, means writing. So sa madaling sabi, photography is a light writing. Kaya nagkakaroon ng imahe at larawan. Then, coined the word photography in 1839 by Sir John Herself. A device described earlier than 1039 by the Arabian scholar Alazin. This is a camera obscura. Was the reputed inventor in 1569 of the camera obscura. So, Giovanni Balista de la Porta. Then means a dark room, a darkened enclosure in which image of outside are projected through a small aperture or lens into a facing surface. This is a camera obscura class. Ang camera obscura is a box type na merong tao sa loob. This is a sample of camera obscura. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung may maliit na butas na di sa lens, kinukuha niya yung larawan mula sa labas papunta doon sa loob. Pagdating sa loob, baliktad na larawan. Then yung duty ng taong nasa loob, isibuhid yung larawan. This is the camera obscura. Then this is the innovation. Binago na, pinaliit na rin sa camera obscura. An Italian scientist fitted a biconvex to the camera obscura in 1550 by Geronimo Cardano. Suggested the use of diaphragm to sharpen the image in 1558, Daniel Batbaro. So itong mga tao to, ito yung nag-unbag para mapaganda yung camera na ginagamit natin ngayon. Ginagamit natin ngayon. So. The next... Small portable camera obscura develop So Yun yung kaganina na maliit na camera obscura So Nagsimula yon 17th century French scientist Was the first to use successfully The camera obscura So By Joseph Nepsey So tandaan class yung mga tao kasi da Kasi Lalabas yan sa assessment natin <coughs> Patented the first single lens camera in 1881 by Thomas Sutton. Then, a British produced the twin lens reflex camera in 1880 by R. N. J. Beck. The most famous twin lens reflex camera, Ruliflex, and Taoyuan. Then, American inventor brought out the first real film camera Kodak in 1888. by George Eastman. So, yung Kodak class na naabutan ko pa ini eh. So, ito yung may film na kung ilalagay mo, itatapat mo sa ila, makikita mo yung mga tao. O, yung larawan. And, American inventor produced kinetograph camera using 35mm film in 1885 by Thomas Alba Edison. Yung kinetograph class, this is a moving pictures na ginamit sa mga film. No? Moving pictures na ginamit sa mga um, scene at uh, television. Kinetograph. Then, develop the motion pictures camera and the productions of cinematograph in 1895. So, cinematograph class. Nagkaroonan ng mga pelikula Dito So ginamit na itong mga cinematograph uh, katulad, yan, katulad din siya ng kinetograph class Luis Agosti Lumire Then had published tables of needle size and apertures uh, Alfred Watkins and E.J. Wall Meron tayong discover the horn silver or a kind of semi-transparent compound of silvers by Publicus 1556. A French artist and chemist recognized for his inventions of daguerreotype process of photography. So, yung daguerreotype class, ang process nito, yung hindi pa papel to eh. 
copper plates coated with silver fan gamit dito mga plates okay. this is Luis Jacques Mande de Gire the use of the Gire type became well known as means of, for, of identifying criminals so ginamit na itong the Gire type to identify criminals since 1841 photograph of an injured person ginamit na as an evidence okay. sa car accident during 1879 so naging admissible na siya sa court invented the calotype process in the year 1840 yung calotype class also known as talbot type okay. ginamitan na to ng papel na, na hanggang ngayon nangyayari pa rin existence para by Henry Fox Talbot A process of taking photographs of suspect criminals and a crime scene for purpose of identifying ano tong anong tawag dito the process of taking a photograph of suspect this is forensic photography for the purpose of identification and documentation that is forensic photography Meron tayong a science or of art obtaining image of sensitized material by the actions of electromagnetic radiation. This is photography. Tanda lang yung kasi. The next. It's a science which deal with the study of the principle of photography and the preparation of photographic evidence and its application to police work. This is police photography class. Hmm yung mga duty na talaga ng ating law enforcer okay. to capture the evidence from the crime scene using a photograph it's a production of some scene object or person through the means of photog photography this is photograph okay. the next it's one who is tasked to take Photograph. Ang pinag-uusapan na dito, class tao. Sino yung mahawak ng camera? So, nakaline up sa kanyang duty. Ang tawag dito, police photographer. Okay. Then, theories and concepts. So, meron tayong three basic evolution of photography. So, unang pinakauna dyan, ito na, the geriotype photogra photography. O, oh, sa camera obscura, the geriotype sa mga sinaunang uh, camera na pangmatagalan yung proseso ng pagdevelop ng mga pictures. Then pangalawa film photography. So ang film photography naman class, mga limitado lang dito yung nakukuwang larawan. So, at couples of days bago makaproduce ng ready made pictures. Then the last one Ito na tayo, digital photography. Unlimited source of pictures. Mabilis na lang yung development. Okay. Through the use of our modern gadgets, cell phones. So, mabilis na lang. That is, tandaan niya class. Three basic evolution of photography. Daguerreotype, film, and digital. And next, basic importance of crime scene photography. So, pinakauna, Refresh memory, yes. Kasi kapag nakikita mo yung larawan, okay, nababaliktan mo yung nakaraan. Okay. Through the use of the pictures, okay, mabilis mong ma-identify kung saan nakalagay yung evidence. Okay. Saan nangyari yung crime. Okay. Sino yung tao. Then, pangalawa, preserve time and event. So, ilang dang taon man ang lumipas, araw, buwan, so, nandiyan yan. Hindi mawawala. Hmm. Ganun pa rin yung itsura nung araw na kinuunan mo ng picture. Preserve time and event. Then also, save money. That is the basic importance of crime scene photography. Then, objective of crime scene photography. Ano yung objective? Una, to produce a pictorial records of the crime scene. Yes, napaka-importante nito. Lalo na sa police work. Pangalawa, to help in keeping the police officer memory and remembering accurately as to where the locations of physical evidence are found. So, yan na yan. Yan na yung sinabi ko kaganina, class. 
Then pangatlo, to help in securing and obtaining confessions, okay. descriptions, disposition, and information relating to the case. Kasi nga, sabi nga, the pictures speak itself. So, nagsasali, nagsasalita na yung mga larawan kasi kapag nakita mo. Okay. The path, the confessions, nandun na eh sa pictures. So, this, that is the objective of crime scene photography. Okay, dito tayo sa importance of forensic photography. Meron tayo mga pat. Una, small object but of great importance may be discovered through the aid of photography. So, maliit man na bagay, pero mahalaga sa investigation. So, nakukuha yan sa tulong ng ating photography. Like for example, blood stain sa murder case. Kapag madilim yung pinangyarihan ng krimen, hindi mo yan makikita eh, ng mga blood stain, body fluid. But with the use of infrared light, infrared photography, mabilis mo yan madetect. Kitang-kita yun dyan. So, malaking tulong class yung photography pagdating sa crime investigation. Detalyado, detalyado kasi ito. Okay. Nakukuha yung mga detail na hindi mo kayang makita sa isang tinginan lang. The next, photograph of the crime scene is a permanent record which is always available especially when needed in court proceedings. So, yun yung sinabi ko, class. May permanent record ka na. Hindi mo na yun mawawala maliban na lang kung masira yung pictures. Napakahalaga nito during court proceedings. This is strong evidence. Then, pangatlo, Photograph of the crime scene is an aid of the investigator in describing in court some of the details of the crime scene they have investigated several months ago. So, yun na. Pangapat, assist the investigator in using photographic equipment and photographic techniques and their effort to solve the crime. So, yung mga yan class, importance of forensic photography. Malaking tulong yan para mas mapadali okay, yung investigation to resolve the crime. Okay. Napapadali yung trabaho ng ating mga law enforcer. So, although manumano man, pero may mga tulong. Okay. May mga equipment na nakakatulong sa kanila. Okay. To refresh, to record, to identify the suspect, the crime scene, for documentation for process okay. dahil sa mga pictures na nakuha taken by a photographic equipment that is the importance of photographic forensic photography okay. next meron tayong uses of photography <clears throat> una for identification for process syempre naman records presentation substitution and deciding factors. Next. So, principles of photography. Light or electromagnetic radiation. Camera. Pangatlo, sensitized materials. Pangapat, chemical process and disposition. Subject or object. Okay. Tandaan niya class. Tools of photography Meron tayong light Camera Lens Film Photographic paper Chemistry Composition So lahat ng yan That is a tools of photography okay. Other photography Related to police photography yeah. So it's the art or process of photographing object directly enlarged on the negative and magnified from one to nine times. It is very useful in photographing question document and bullet for comparison in fingerprints. So, ang tawag dito, class, this is photomacrography. Tatandaan nyo lang, class, it is the art of science of photographing object directly enlarged. Pinapalaki agad. So, Anong purpose nito? For comparison purposes, for identification of detailed information. So, like for example, dito sa bullet comparison, sa document. Okay, sa bullet comparison na lang tayo. Ang mga cartridge case na nakuha sa crime scene class, okay, 
yung mga primer na sinasabi yung pinapalo ng hammer ng gun okay, yun yung primer kaya nagkakaroon ng ignition so pinapalaki ang class uh, para makita yung detailed pattern kung iisang baril lang yung ginamit yung baril na naku yung balang nakuha doon sa crime scene at yung suspect na gina na cartridge na nakuha din doon sa taong nagpaputok ng baril so magkakaroon ng comparison so anong sabi anong sabi dito the process of photographing object directly in large pinapalaki ang class okay para makita yung similarity kung may pagkakapareho Then sa fingerprint naman, hindi mo makikita yung palad mo Hindi makikita mo yung palad mo, nakikita mo yung fingerprint mo But not to the sense na makikita mo yung detalyadong fingerprint mo, fingerprint mo. So, But with the use of photomacrography glass, pinapalaki yan okay. Makikita mo na yung detail ng fingerprint mo Ano yung mga delta dyan? Ilang range count yan? Nasaan ang core dyan? Makikita mo na kasi kung titingnan mo ng naked eye mo, hindi mo nakikita mo eh. Pero hindi detalyado. Then, through the documents. So, dito mo din mapapansin kung meron bang mga forge, mga pinaking perma, okay, pinalitan na pangalan. Dinayang dokumento. So, with the use of this photomacrography, photo napapadali yung trabaho. Pangalawa, It is the art or process of photographing small object or items of evidence as strand, strands of ears, public hairs, fibers, soils, or fragments of glass. Ang tawag dito, class, photomicrography. So, ito yung proseso to take a photograph doon sa mga maliliit na bagay. Ang tawag dyan, photomicrography. Ang photomicrography naman, ito yung proseso ng pagpapalaki ng isang bagay through the use of the camera. Photomicrography for comparison for process. Okay. For identification for process. Okay. Then, it is the art or process of photographing unseen object by means of infrared light. It is valuable in photographing several fluid and blood stain during night time. So, this is the Infrared photography okay. Hindi mo kaya makita Kapag gabi, yun yung sinasabi ko Sa investigation class okay. Kapag yung crime scene is madilim So ginagamitan niya ng infrared Lalo na kung may mga blood fluid okay. Blood stain okay. Mabilis na lang Next This is the art of photographing unseen object By means of ultraviolet light So dito naman, ito Exclusive in eh exclusive to sa mga question document uh, mga piniking document to so nakikita dun yung mga stroke ng ink ng ballpen kung tama ba okay. kung meron bang mga um, lapses o wala okay. may mga straight line ba kung sa kanya ba talaga yung perma o hindi okay. ang tawag naman dito class ultraviolet ray photography Ayan yung ginagamit dyan Then light So, yun na <clears throat> Anything that you see It's because of light okay. Then This is Form of electromagnetic Of a wavelength that is visible to human eye Na kaya mong makita ng retina mo That is a light okay. Lahat ng bagay na kikita mo Na kaya mong makita ng mata mo That is a light It's because of light Na okay visible to human eye then three primary properties of light meron tayo una intensity or brightness yan pangalawa frequency or wavelength yan then polarizations of the wave oscillation the source of light meron dalawa lang natural light so, yan na alam na natin yan galing sa mga sunlight Then artificial light. The, this is the sample of natural light class. May, we have sunlight, moonlight, lightning, starlight, and flame. Okay. Then we have artificial light, nagawa ng tao, man-made. Fluorescence light, <coughs> laser, ultraviolet, 
infrared and lead light that is the artificial light okay. wavelength uh, is the distance from wave crease to wave crease so this is the sample of wavelength class so kung mapapansin nyo yung wavelength in meters so meron tayong long wavelength low frequency and short wavelength high frequency so yung mga yan class infrared microwave ultraviolet light Sa totoo lang, hindi yan maabot ng ating retina. Hindi yan kayang makita ng ating retina. Although nakikita pero kunting detailed lang. Itong nasa gitna, yan o, na may iba't ibang kulay, yan lang yung mga visible na makikita ng ating mata. Visible light na kayang tanggapin ng ating retina. So, that's it. That's the wavelength class. Then, two sections of wavelength. Tandaan natin class, meron tayong short test wave. So, our gamma rays which have wavelength of 10-6 microns or less. Then, meron tayong longest wave. So, wavelengths of many kilometers. Tatanda, tatandaan nyo yan. Measurement supply. <clears throat> so, sa X-ray, meron siyang 0-30 nm Then ultraviolet light Meron siyang 30-400 nm Then yung visible light naman na Nakikita ng ating Nakakaya ng tingnan ng ating mga mata Retina 400-700 nm Then 700-1000 nm class That is an infrared light ah, Kasira na yan 1000 up Radio light waves So Next, <clears throat> how light change direction? So, paano ba? Umiba yung direction ng light. Through, syempre, reflection. Okay. Reflection is a change. Changes in the direction of light wave, which occur whenever light waves comes in contact with the surface of an object. Subject, but does not allow the wave to pass through it. Uh, ibig sabihin, hindi kayang lumusot ng liwanag. So, lahat ng bagay class, lalo na pag shiny, yung tinamaan ng light, automatic nagre-reflect siya. Okay. To other uh, uh, side. Okay. There is a reflection. So, meron tayong dalawang uri ng reflection. How light, two ways of how light rays are reflected. Merong diffuse reflected light. So, ang diffuse reflected light class, kapag tumama sa rough object, okay, rough object, automatic, yung liwanag niya, nagdi-diffuse, okay, kalat, uh, rough object. Then, meron tayong specular reflected light. Ito naman, pag, nag, pag tumama yung liwanag sa soap area, like for example mirror so nagbe-bend nagba-bounce yung liwanag hmm. but not diffuse diffuse oh. sa isang direction lang okay. buo yung liwanag okay. then refraction pangalawa refractions it's the bending of light wave when passing oblique from one medium to a medium of different density so this is the sample of oblique that's all. Parang wavelengths, nag-wave siya. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That is the refraction class. Then, prism. So, ano yung prism? It is the transparent polygonal solid object with flat faces and usually a triangular cross-section use of separating white light into a spectrum of colors. So, ito class ha. This is a, a transparent triangular object na, na kayang uh, lumusot ng liwanag. So, ang pinagkaiba naman ito, sinisiparate yung white light doon sa spec, spectrum. Ibig sabihin, iba't ibang kulay, oh, different colors. This, this is the samples of prism. 